Clive, to stay with elite level and Gianche as a jumping off point or Andre Stazen, how big a problem do you think it is? It certainly is happening, but it's the extent that is the question mark. I think the only thing that surprised me was the um, almost the lack of media coverage because this positive test wasn't just happened last week. It's, it's, About a month ago. Yeah, yeah. and the, almost if that had been cyclist or a swimmer or an athlete in the Olympic, it would have been massive front page news. Why do you think it wasn't? I don't know. I think that's where rugby's got to be careful because this was, wasn't just a sort of a, a junior player, your level three player. This is one of the superstar players, as I said, the breakthrough player. So to me, it was a huge story. It didn't get much coverage. But that was the only surprise to me. Um, and it's like all things, you, know, you, see, you see it from Olympic sports. You can never invest or spend enough money in trying to control or kind of um, get the tests in place. But it's incredibly expensive when you're actually on the, the, the other side of things. To actually run these tests, <coughs> to run a proper doping uh, program on a, on a worldwide basis. For a, a, a sport like rugby or the World Cup coming up is, is a lot of investment from all the, all the basic unions. But I think yeah, anyone would be quite naive to say this is not going on because the temptations are there. Uh, like it is in every, any power sports, and you've seen you know, the, the problems Olympic sports have happened. So rugby's just got to just do everything humanly possible to, to have just a zero tolerance to this um, situation. But it's, it's, it's an expensive process to put in place when you're trying to actually monitor these, these athletes on a worldwide basis. Have you any sense how prevalent it is at the top level? No, not at all. No, I, I hope it's just an isolated incident. But you, 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 when you see the numbers, it's not... I think we're kind of wrong to, to kind of highlight South Africa here. I think you find this is there's people having tested all around the world. It can it can happen, mm. you know. It can be very naive. You know, you can get this stuff online if you're really that inclined to do this. So I, I think it's wrong to actually pick on South Africa at this stage, especially the World Cup coming up. They they had the high profile player tested positive, but I think it's it's a it's, it's a worldwide issue for the for the game of rugby.